Hey my amazing people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. In the previous video, I showed you how to create a fully functional e-commerce website using WooCommerce and Elementor. And in this video, I want to show you on how you can move or migrate that website from a local environment to your web host. And I mean, this can be any kind of web host for as long as it supports WordPress. Let's get started. So as you can see over here is our e-commerce website that we created. Uh, whereby someone can navigate to the shop page and as well as being able to access the cart page, be able to check out on the page and many more other things that you and your website visa are able to do on your website. But as you can see, this website is hosted on a local environment. And I mean, this can be any environment that you use to build your website. It can be on a test environment, which is hosted on the internet, or it can be using a local development tool like local WP, which I am using apparently. So the question is, how do you move this website? that is on a local development environment or on a local host to your own domain and hosting platform just like you see over right here and i want to show you the simplest way you can do this so first you're going to go back to your local host or wherever you've been building that website from come over here to the plugins area come to add a new plugin look up for wp vivid plugin which is a free backup and migration plugin in the wordpress repository you'll simply install and activate that plugin I already have it here installed so i'll simply activate the plugin once now it is activated you're going to simply come over here to database plus files or wordpress files backup that means that we are going to save up these files in a specific folder that will be our backup and this is the backup that we are going to download and then upload that backup wherever we chose to host our website so what i'm going to do is simply say backup and now this means that we are backing up on our local environment. I mean, where your website is currently seated, whether on your computer or on some remote testing server. This may take up a few seconds to a few minutes based on the size of the website you're trying to back up. Great. So now my backup is done. What I'm going to do is just scroll down below here a little bit. And down here, I'll see the backup that I've created. What I'll do is simply click on the download option and it will take me here to the download tab where I'll be able to download the backup that I just created. So I'll say download. And once this download is complete, it will be saved on my computer, just like you see over here. Now, what I have to do is to go and install WordPress on my new host or on my new cPanel or wherever you've decided to host your website. So just make sure that you install WordPress and have access to the logins to that WordPress website. And that is exactly what I have done. I just have a new installation of WordPress here. Even when you come over here to the plugins area, I have only two plugins. And when I come and visit the home page, which is this here, I reload. I have the new 2023 WordPress theme, which is this here. So what I'm going to do to have my website that I was building on the local environment onto this website in just a few clicks without any technical know-how I'm going to come back here to the plugins area in the new WordPress website that I just installed on a new server or on my new domain. So what I'm going to do is say add a new plugin. I'll look up for WP Vivid as well. I'll install, I'll activate this plugin. Now, since I am moving my website to this new domain or this new website, I'm going to come down below here to the upload option. And here is where I'm going to drop or upload my recently downloaded file on our local environment, which is the file down below here. I'll simply drag the file and there it shows up. Now I'll say upload. Now this upload process may take up a few seconds to a few minutes, still based on the size of the site you're trying to migrate. Now, once the upload is complete, you'll have the file over right here. And now we are going to go to the option to say restore our website. So I'm going to say restore and now click finally here to say restore the website and continue just make sure that you don't close this tab in the process of restoring the website otherwise everything will break for now i'll leave it here and it will take up still a few seconds to a few minutes based on the size of the site you're trying to migrate and in my case all the downloads and uploads and restoration processes took roughly 10 to 15 minutes for this kind of website good so my restoration process is completed successfully i'll simply say okay 
now WP Vivid is going to log me out of WordPress and it will require me to log back into WordPress. So these are the things that you actually have to note after the migration and restoration of this website. The password that you used on the local environment is the same password that you have to use on this login page once you are signed out. These are the details that I was using on my local hosting environment. So I'll say login, I'll skip this. And boom, here we are with our restored website. Now let's go and check up a few things. First, let's go to the plugins. Now this is our live website on the new hosting environment and on our domain that we actually want to use. So when we go to the plugins, now you realize that the plugins we're using on our local environment have also been imported in this new site that we moved. And that's everything from Elementor, Elementor Pro, WooCommerce, and now WP Vivid, these are the active ones. The other inactive ones, this was also inactive on the local hosting environment. If we just go back here on the local environment and look into the plugins that are installed, you see that these are actually matching. This is the same thing here, Elementor, Elementor Pro, WooCommerce, WooCommerce Payments, and then WP Vivid plugin. Great, so what do we need now to do? Before we do anything further, let me take you to the live website and I will just simply reload this site and see that now we have like simply the replica of our website that we had on a local environment. And boom, just in a few clicks here and there, we have our website restored on a live domain and live hosting platform, which we just did in a few seconds ago. And we have our products over here. Even when I now navigate to, let me say to the cart page, we still even have the item that was in the cart page on the local hosting environment. Like literally what WPVV does is to carry whatever baggage you had on the local environment to the new environment that you want to use going forward. So what are the other things that you have to check after moving to the new environment apart from the username and passwords? So what you have to do actually on the live environment, you're going to come here to the site settings and you're going to come to permalinks. What you'll do is to scroll down below here and set the permalink structure to post name and leave everything else here on the default settings and then save changes. This will fix any other permalinks issues in case you have any on the site or in case you move the website to a new domain and you realize that some pages are breaking and simply saving changes that updates all the permalinks on the new website that you just migrated. That is in case you got any issues. In my case, everything was clear and I never had any broken links. Okay, so once that is done, then you're going to come over here to the general settings and just make sure that the site name, the tagline, and also the administration email, everything is clear, the time zone, and also the site language, and as well as when the week actually starts. That aside, we are going to go here to the reading settings and you're going to come here to the home page and set up the home page of your website and secondary, the post page of your website in case you never set them up on the local environment. Make sure that you come over here and set that up and then make sure that you enable the search engines to index this website because I think you want your website to be found in the search engine. So since we were working on the local environment, this was discouraged, but now you're going to have to uncheck this and then save changes. Great, now back here to our plugins area, all I can say is that you can go ahead and update your plugins and delete those that you don't need. In this case, I would like to delete WP Vivid because I don't need it anymore. But before you go ahead and deactivate and uninstall WP Vivid, I think you still need it because they do not only offer local backups and restorations of websites, but also scheduled backups and remote backups to remote services like Google Drive, Dropbox, actually these other options come in the pro version. And if we look at the WP Vivid pricing page, currently they're actually running a discount, which is a Black Friday discount. It's actually running until the end of December, if I'm not mistaken. So when you get the pro version, you actually have all these other add-ons, the backup and migration pro, and also the staging pro add-on in case you want to create staging sites. You'll also get the image optimizer. I think I should be creating a video about the WP Vivid image optimizer because I think it's an interesting feature that, that was recently added to WP Vivid and I think it actually adds more value to you as a website designer or developer or someone who is in the business of web design because when you have your images optimized then you get your websites running a bit faster. Then you have the option to white label and also roles and capabilities. Not only that, you also have the option to use this pro version in a multi-site setup system and you'll also get support which is 
ticket support obviously and all these other options i think since it's running at a 40 percent discount by the time of making this video i think you should you know consider getting this license let me see in the lifetime deals you have to pay about 60 per 60 dollars that is for two domains and you can as well even change the domain in three days to another domain or point to another domain and you know you have unlimited image optimizations and all these other add-ons that come along with a pro version of WPVVid. I just wanted to share with you a little secret that I have WPVVid Pro running on my website. Let me just take you in the back door of how it actually looks like when you have this installed and running on your website. I'm going to come here to the plugins area. So when you get the pro version, you'll have two plugins. You'll have WPVVid Backup Plugin and also WPVVid Plugins Pro. Uh, when I click over here to come to the dashboard, so I have all these features. I have the manual backup. I have the schedule option, which I told you about that you can schedule backups once you have the pro version. I have the cloud option because I want to, you know, send my backups to Google Drive, OneDrive, or even via FTP. And as well, you have these other add-ons that are mentioned on the sales page, the image optimization add-ons, roles and capabilities, the staging option, and all these other add-ons right here. All you have to do is install the add-on and voila. So that's it all for now in this video on how you can actually migrate your website from a local environment to a hosted environment for free using WPVV. But not only that, you can as well use WPVV to share your backups, send your backups to cloud storages and a lot more features just like I've shared in this video. So if you consider checking out WPVV or getting the pro version, I have a link right down in the description of this video, which is my affiliate link. And I get a small commission if you use it without any extra charge on you. That way I'm able to make more videos just like this. And in case you want to check out this same tutorial on how to create an e-commerce website using WooCommerce and Elementor, I'll also be leaving the full playlist link right down in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good time and goodbye.